Hello everybody, my name is Dom, and welcome back to another episode in the series. So far this season we've been building a little application called 2 by that uh, is basically just a glorified notepad, but we have been uh, showing off a whole bunch of stuff um, specifically around the UI and data layer. So we've been using Room this whole season, so if that's something of interest to you, uh, please go ahead and you know, check out some of the earlier content. Um, and in the last episode, we basically implemented a swipe to dismiss on the home screen here. However, we now are finding ourselves in this empty state uh, with no items to display to the user. So I think it's appropriate that we go ahead and actually cover this uh, empty state issue, uh, build something out here, maybe even like a little call to action to actually get the user to this, uh, this page a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and just build the um, UI for it here. Okay, everybody. So this is a pretty simple example here, but we're just going to have a layout here that has uh, two text views in it, the title and the subtitle, and basically just calls out the fact that there are no items, and that it should, or the user should use the button below to add an item to your list. Um, I think it's important to note here that traditionally with view holders, we actually care about uh, what well, we need to think about these width and height attributes. Um, you know, I guess a, a, a little bit deeper because they're not going to be the only thing on the screen. However, in the case where there's an empty state, the height that's normally wrapped content can actually be match parent because the idea is that you know there's nothing on the screen here at all. So we're going to want to load in one view holder that takes up the entire size of the parent, which appears to be you know the entire screen. So if we go ahead to our home epoxy model or controller, I believe I actually even yeah. So we have the fact that you know we have a little check for it, say that if it is empty. Um, we need to add our empty state, so let's go ahead and add that really quickly. Okay. Added in just a very simple implementation here, it looks very similar to the loading state except um, you know we're just basically inflating a different view, a uh, different layout here. So if we just go ahead and run this now, we should be able to see some kind of feedback at least when we are in this state. All right, and there we have it. So we hit our empty state, we loaded our uh, epoxy model in appropriately that has our layout here, and now the screen kind of you know looks like it uh, Looks like it understands what's happening here. So if we go ahead and add, you know, first thing to buy, something new, set our priority to high, we have the item saved there, and now we can see the empty state is gone, and instead we have our first item here. Uh, I'm gonna do a small cleanup here just to see if this will look good. like that anymore or not. Uh, I guess we could leave it this way to be honest. I kind of guess the the different coloring looks looks pretty nice. Uh, let's change this maybe to one 
PX instead of a DP, be a little bit of a thinner line here. Yeah, I think I like that better. I think I like that a lot better. Uh, okay, so sorry about that. Just wanted to kind of clean something up, apply a little bit more theming, etc. And so there you have it. Uh, in order to create an empty state here, you kind of uh, just need to capture that moment in time, that 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 little criteria in your build models function. Here it's quite obvious. We're just displaying a list of items, so when we can we can evaluate if that list is empty, and if so, then we are in our empty state. Uh, you just build up a little a little uh, XML file, a very simple model, epoxy model to load in, and then um, you know you just got to make sure that you return early from your function so that you don't try to do anything else. And uh, that's about it. So thanks for sticking by. I think uh, we'll just continue building this out in the next next episode. So if that's interesting to you, please uh, please like, comment, and or subscribe. Be greatly appreciated.